Hey everybody, my name is Jeremiah Craig and a custom cowboy boot maker in Massachusetts by the name of La Sabateuse made a really small cowboy boot that wouldn't even fit on most babies. That's what we're talking about today on Cowboy Boot News. La Sabateuse used traditional techniques to make this really mini cowboy boot and it's just so cute. I was watching the whole process on her Instagram as she was building it and it was really interesting. She built this boot with the traditional techniques that she builds real life size cowboy boots with too. So you can only imagine how difficult making something like that to scale would be. But it's nothing out of the ordinary for La Sabateuse because she has her degree in architecture and even worked in France for a while as a model builder, making really miniature models of shopping malls and things like that. But she eventually brought her artistic creativity into the cowboy boot world and regularly makes art pieces with cowboy boots. She has made a cowboy boot with a shaft of razors, and she recently collaborated with artist Mercavelli on a pair of size 22 cowboy boots, and now she has released a mini cowboy boot. I mean, just look at this thing, it's so damn cute. And it's made exactly like traditional cowboy boots are made, except just really small. It has a ringed siding nail as a shank. And a lot of custom cowboy boot makers use nails as shanks. It has a super mini stacked leather heel. It's leather lined and it also uses lemon wood pegs that had to be cut down to a quarter of a size to fit in this mini boot. So everything about this boot is very traditionally built. It's just really small. And I recently had the chance to speak with La Sabateuse on my Ask the Bootmaker series, and she explained why she made a mini boot and her process. Can you explain this process and why you're making really small boots? So it's one boot, and it okay. is one of my art projects. So similar to the, the razor blade boots, it's one of those. So I work on it at night and in my spare time. Um, it came about from discussions with a friend who said, you really need to, you, I spend like six months on one pair of boots. I, again, not super viable business model, but it is what it is and it's not changing. And she said, you need to make a, up, you know, keychains or something out of your scraps. You need something going small. And I said, no, I'm, I'm not gonna do that because that's just taking away time from the things that bring me joy to make. And she said, no, you know, you think of something that's you then. If it's not those things, think of something that's you. And just a couple days of, you know, I kicking around in my head, I, I, a bunch of little ideas I'd had in different circumstances and different contexts came together. And I thought, oh, I'm going to make this miniature, miniature boot. So it's not a child's boot. It's a 44% scale. I'll show you the last of, of this Mexican. Oh my gosh. So it's an exit, like as close as I could be a 44%. And then everything had to be scaled like the, the um, thickness of the leather going into it had to be super, super thin. Like this really, really thin lining is 44% down <laughs> from a wow. typical lining. And the, the stitches, here, try to get them. The stitches would equate to 11 stitches per inch because smaller than that, it was just gonna rip through. But um, so it was a, for whatever reason, something I felt I needed to make as like an art project, but also it is going to be like an Instagram giveaway when I'm all done to, you know, fulfill these ideas my friend had about, about engaging people more with something that's made quicker then. So that's where that came from. Cool. Well, everybody who's watching right now, definitely follow on Instagram. Um, because that's going to be a fun giveaway. Feel free to watch the rest of that awesome interview at the link in the description or at the link above, or you can catch it at the end screen when this video is done. But you have to follow her on Instagram because she's giving this away. This is something that's super rare, and it might even be one of the smallest cowboy boots ever made. I just love her creativity and the fact that she's testing herself by making MIDI to scale models of how a boot should actually be made to help herself grow in the custom cowboy boot world. What do you think of this super mini cowboy boot? Let me know in the comments. I think it's awesome and I had to share it today on the channel. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe 
and follow La Saboteuse on Instagram. I'll see you guys around. Peace. La Saboteuse makes a mini boot to strengthen her creative roots and has something unique to share. It's made true to tradition and true to her mission, but still it's too small to wear. Thank you so much for watching today. Don't forget to follow the Saboteurs on Instagram. Link is in the description. Subscribe while you're here. Lots more content to come. Peace. Have a good one.